Hello friends, EJ here again from the back porch, and I want to do a little bit of a follow-up video of one of our more popular videos. Um, there's a lot of interest in Case Double X pocket knives. Uh, so we've got, uh, we've got some more in, and I'd like to share them with you. However, a little bit of a disclaimer, last time some of my nomenclature and, and some of the terms that I used was not spot on. I will do my best to do a little better this time uh, so that we can uh, be a little bit more accurate in our description of these knives uh, but i hope you enjoy them you know i know there's a lot of people that like collect to collect uh, case double x knives um there's um uh, there's a there's a big collectorship and it seems like everybody's granddad uh, had a good case knife so uh, there's some memory in these pieces as well but uh, this particular vendor brought in some good old case knives i mean they're not super you know extremely valuable but they're good solid collector pieces uh, that you might like. And I'm going to kind of, uh, again, uh, show you the ins and outs of how to identify these knives. Uh, and, you know, I'll, I'll be honest with you, I'm no expert, uh, but I do know how to find out the information. I'll be glad to share that with you. Uh, Google is your friend. I know, I hate to say it, I hate to admit my shortcomings as an antique dealer, but uh, when I need to know something or double check something before I do a YouTube video, uh, I will probably do a little bit of Googling. So just take a look at our knives here. We've got two, four, six, eight, nine good case double X knives. Um, we'll start on this side. Um, this is what I believe to be, if I remember correctly, I didn't Google this one. This one is what's called the Eisenhower. Uh, it is my understanding that President Eisenhower gave these particular knives out to his cabinet members. And uh, they were... Um, popular for that reason a good little knife and a good little you know thank you for for serving and helping um here's a good little good little knife um and i'm going to show you right now before we go any further uh, how to identify the age of a knife now this particular knife if um if you look right here um as you can tell there is what's called a tang stamp and the tang is, is what's down here in this general area of the knife, and there are stamps um, on those uh, particular parts of the blades. And those will tell you the age of that particular case knife. Now, there are several different logos uh, that will um, tell you what decade they're in. Uh, you will often hear uh, case double knife, case double X knife collectors, case knife collectors talk about them. Um, uh, maybe X is down or something along those lines. Um, or um, you'll hear them say, well, that's a 10 dot or a, that's a 6 dot or something along those lines. Well, the way that works, again, is a, a little bit of mathematical uh, figuring there. Um, if if the particular uh, dot system um, has five dots, okay, uh, and a particular logo, then that means it's in the middle of that decade. Um, the 70s were very particular uh, tang stamp, and if it were a five dot from the 70s, then it would be a 75. Uh, and continuing with that. Um, also, if you look on on the blades, uh, one of the blades, depending on which one, there is a an identifying number, a style number. Um, notice it down here. Um, and if you don't know specifically what design that is, or if you want to double check, simply take out your Googling device. And what I normally do is I type in like that one says DR62109X. And uh, for those of us who, you know, who, who know, you'll call that a 109, which is the copperhead. A copperhead style, that's a... a uh, uh, a stainless steel knife, one of the newer ones, but that is a uh, copperhead style. And that's what that is. Now we'll do the same thing on this particular knife. I want you to notice, okay, right here, on these two particular knives, I want you to notice when you hear somebody talk about a stainless steel knife or a carbon steel knife, everybody likes to carry the carbon steel as opposed to the stainless steel. Again, I am no expert, but everybody says the carbon steel will sharpen much better and keep an edge much better than the stainless steel knives. You can see the difference here between these two knives. Um, obviously, the stainless steel is going to stay prettier longer, but the carbon steel is just a better quality of knife 
Um, there are some of those stainless knives uh, and carbon steel bladed knives that coincide in different areas at different times. Um, there were stainless knives and carbon knives made at the same time. Uh, now I think there's more stainless than anything else. So these particular two styles right here are both trapper knives, uh, as you can see. And uh, one is a little bit newer than the other one. This one is uh, one, two, three, four, five. Five dots on high, five dots on low, which means that is a 1980. Uh, with that, if I'm not mistaken, and I'm sure if I am mistaken, somebody will tell me, but I believe that's a 1980. Uh, with what's called the Lightning S. I could go back to my reference materials and find out for sure, but that's a 1980, I do believe. Uh, and this one is with that, um, what's called that that design of the C and case is in the 2000s. Uh, so that's uh, still a very cool knife. Uh, this is what's called a Whittler, Case Whittler style. Um, I think it may be even called like the Half Whittler or something along those lines. Again, I'd have to go back to my reference section to find out, but um, that that's the Whittler style. Notice this little kind of like low spot right there in the handle that makes it look good. Um, this is 1970s, good steel, good uh, bone handle, uh, those sorts of things. Uh, here's a good one, a good old one, um, although the blades are a little rough on it. Um, this is, you heard me speak earlier about X's down on the case stamp. Uh, that is an X's down Stogman. I believe that's the Stogman, um, which would make it 1940 to 1964, if my memory serves me correct. A good red bone handle uh, case, 40 to 64 X's down. Here's a popular pattern, the case canoe. It looks kind of like a canoe. That's why they call it canoe. Um, and it's this one still has uh, the etching on the blade of the canoe, probably actually never been used. Uh, it is a two, four, five dot. So that means it's a 75 with that logo and five dots. Uh, very cool piece. These are high dollar knives uh, to some collectors. Um, so very cool. I'll have to go back and wipe these down, wipe my fingerprints off of them a little later. Here again, same knife, probably a different dot system. Uh, two, four, six. So that's a 74 uh, as opposed to that 75. But some good case knives right there. You know, you got the Eisenhower and the, uh, the Trappers and the Whittler and um, the Stockman and all those sorts of names. Of course, we've also got the Canoes, but just a good, you know, a, a good grouping of knives to add to any collection. If it's something that you might be interested in, we'd love to sell them to you. We can ship them to you. Uh, we'll do the best we can on the pricing. We don't make anything on the shipping, so we'd be glad to ship them to you wherever you're at within reason. And if it's without a reason, if you don't care to pay for it, we don't care to ship it. Uh, but uh, if you like case knives, also we've got another video. If you haven't seen the first video, check it out. Also, if you're um, enjoying these videos, we make content uh, once a week and try to get it out to you. So uh, do us a favor and subscribe to our channel and like this particular video, and we would surely appreciate it. But until then, and until next time, I hope you've enjoyed this one. Have a good night.